हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कम्पेटेटिव एग्जाम्स वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्क आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डिफ्रेंशिएशन इफ वी हैव एनी सेंटर वैल्यू एंड इट्स डेरिवेटिव इज आस्क इन द इंटरपोलेशन देन नॉर्मली हाउ डू वी फाइंड इट्स डेरिवेटिव हियर The Stirling formula is used, but here the Gauss forward, Gauss backward can also be used. Basel can also be used. But if they don't tell us anything, then we will directly use Stirling formula here. Is it clear? If they tell a specific formula, then you can use that formula here. Now I will explain the concept of Stirling to you. In the same way, when you are asked about the Gauss forward, backward, or Basel, there you can apply that concept. So how we will do it? Let's start. <music> we talk about numerical differentiation for the central difference we know that the stirling formula fa plus hu or ya plus hu is equal to y0 plus u del y0 plus del y minus 1 upon 2 plus u square by 2 factorial del square y minus 1 plus u into u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial del qy minus 1 plus del qy minus 2 upon 2 this is how it goes on and you might be wondering how to learn this formula So, if you haven't seen my previous video on Stirling, where I have properly explained to derive this formula, you can easily learn it. I explained it there, so please go and watch that video. What will we do now? If you need to find the derivative of this, then we will differentiate it with respect to you. It will be y dash a plus h u. Okay, with respect to you, then this h will come forward. And listen, this will become zero here. So here we have zero plus this will be del y zero. Plus del y minus one upon two plus. Here this will be two u. So two and two will be cancelled. So this will be u del y square and y minus one. Plus from here we have this. If we do this, it will be u cube minus u, and its derivative will be three u square minus one upon six. And this will become del cube y minus one and del cube y minus two upon two. This formula will continue in this way. now because here what is happening its derivative is h here so we will remove this h from here and we will divide this by h here clear if i divide this h here then this will come here one upon h will come so it will be what it will be its formula right now how do we apply this to the question i will teach you that with the question so we have this question asking that for x we have these and these we have as y and you are asked that what is the derivative at x is equal to 3 it means we have found the value of the derivative of x is equal to 3 so we need to find the value now we will make a difference table this is x and y we will find its difference so its difference will be here its difference is here its difference is here and its difference will be here so like this we will find the value then write its difference here and write its difference here so this will create a table for us now whose formula you need to find i want to tell you the stirling formula students often stuck when it comes to build the formula so here whose value we need to find we assume it as zero the one above is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here this we have is 1 2 and 3 the corresponding value of this is y zero this we have is y minus 1 here we have is y minus 2 and this we have is y minus 3 this is y1 it is y2 here it's y3 and this will be del y minus 3 Here it is del y minus two. This here is del y minus one. This will be del y zero, and this will be del y one. And at this place, it's del y two. So this we will have here is del square y minus three, del square y minus two, and this will be del square y minus one. Here this is del square y zero, and here it will be del square y one. So here we will get del cube y minus three, del cube y minus two will come here, and here it will be del cube y minus one, and this will be del cube y zero. Correct, right? so it will keep going like this normally we will take till here because it's a very very small value it's 0.0004 so i don't think there is any need to do much of it now what we do is when we take this as the center then we have this formula which works here i am telling you that this formula will work here what will happen this formula will work normally what formula do we have what is it y a plus h u is equal to it will be y0 i will like to tell you again that in this y0 plus here it will come u upon 1 factorial so the average of these two this will come del y minus 1 and this will be del y0 upon 2 plus this comes u square upon 2 factorial and from here we will get the value which is del square here we will have y minus 1 
we will get this value here. Plus here it will be u into u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial. Then here we will have the average of these two which is this will be del cube y minus 1 and del cube y0 upon 2. So like this the formula here will go on and then we differentiate it with respect to u. So this h will come forward it will be y dash a plus h u and this h will come forward. So we will divide this h then we will differentiate it with respect to u. So this will become 0. Okay, this will be del y minus 1 del y 0 upon 2. Okay, here this will become 2u. 2 cancels out with 2. So u del square y minus 1. Here we will differentiate u cube minus u. Its derivative will be 3u square minus 1 upon 6. So this will be del cube y minus 1 and del cube y 0 upon 2. Like this, it keeps going on. Because whatever derivative value is being asked in tabulated form. So what will we do here? That a plus hu. Try to understand, we will consider a plus h u as 3 because what are we asked here? We are asked about y dash 3. So here it will be 3. Now since we considered the base to be 3, so a will be 3 and h as the difference between them is 1. So h will be 1. So if you will take all these values and put them here, then we'll have 3 plus u is equal to 3. From here, what will be the value of u? 0. We will put the value of u as 0 in this formula. So this will become 0 and this term will become 0. So in the formula, only these values will be left. So we will take these values and put it in this formula. So it's 1 upon h. h is 1 here. This is del y minus 1, right? This will be del y minus 1, okay? So 0 0.3476 plus 0 0.3219 divided by 2 plus it is 0. So what will happen now? Here I made a small mistake. This will be minus 2 because it is del cube minus 1 and del cube minus 2. These two terms will be there. I am sorry for that. So this will be minus 1 by 6 and this will be 0 0.0046 plus 0 0.0034 and it will be divided by 2. So what will we do here? We will calculate the value of this and the answer we get will be 0 0.3340. This is the value of the derivative that we will get. Sometimes we are asked questions about its double order derivatives. So don't need to worry if you are asked such a question, then we will just differentiate the formula once more with respect to you. What will this become? Why double dash? So this h will come forward. So this h here, we will take its square. This h a plus h u, this will be 1 upon h square. Then we will do its derivative again since this will be 0. And here we will have del square y minus 1. Here we will do its derivative. So it will be 6u upon 6. This will be u into. So from here we will get the value as del q y minus 1 and del q y minus 2 upon 2. So now we will get the value. As here what are we being asked? So students, here the question is saying that what will be the value of d2y by dx square at x equals to 3. We differentiated this twice, right? It's the same a plus h u 3. In the same way we will get u as 0. So, as soon as the value of u becomes 0, then you see this u that is with us what will happen to it, it will become 0, right? So, what we will do here, we will put its value here. So, what will come? Pay attention. This will be y double dash 3 is equal to 1 upon h square. So, 1 square is 1, right? 0 plus del square y minus 1. So, we have del square y minus 1. What we will get is minus 0 0.0257. And when this is ultimately divided by 1 square, so there is no need to worry, its value will be minus 0 0.0257 will be the answer here. So this way we can find out the double order derivative, okay? If you are preparing for CSIR net on gate exams or IIT jam exams, then our books are available on Amazon. You can buy them there and you can also buy them on Flipkart. The link is in the description. So next question, see what it is asking. It is asking to find the value of f dash 93. So we know here we have 93. So we need to take 90 as the base, right? And when we consider 90 as the base, then this will be y0 and this will be y minus 1. This will be y minus 2 here. It will be y1. This is y2 and here is del y minus 2. This here is del y minus 1. This will be del y0. Here it's del y1. Then the same way here we will have the value as del square y minus 2, del square y minus 1 and del square y0 and here this will be del cube y minus 2. This is del cube y minus 1 and at this place it's del power 4, y minus 2, right? Whenever we apply the Stirling formula here as we have chosen this as the base, so this term works in this way. This is important to understand, okay? Now we will put the formula, right? Because we are asked for the value, so we have the Stirling formula. I will write the formula first. 
Okay, here we have y a plus h u is equal to and this will be y zero plus. And here we will get u upon one factorial and this will be del y zero and del y minus one upon two plus u square upon two factorial. It will be del square y minus one plus u into u square minus one upon three factorial. So here we will get del cube y minus one plus del cube y minus two upon two. So this here it continues like this. If we talk about this, then we will differentiate it with respect to u. So the h will come forward. This will be y dash a plus h u. So this will be one upon h. We will do its derivative with respect to u will be zero. So this will be del y zero. Del y minus one upon two. This two u. So this two and two will be cancelled. So this will be u del square y minus one. From here its value will be u cube. That is three square minus one and upon six. We will get del cube y minus one plus del cube y minus two upon two. This will be its value. Okay, now put its value. But before we put in the value, there is a concept which we need to understand, and that is this: a plus h u is. What do we have here? Ninety three. Let's assume a will be ninety and h will be what? It will be fifteen. Now we will put the value here. It will be ninety plus fifteen u is equal to ninety three. So from here we will get fifteen u is equal to three. And we will divide this. So u is equal to three by fifteen. We will cancel it by three. So here it will be one by five. And one by five means zero point two. Clear? So here we will get the value of this, right? And now what will we do? We will put this value here. Okay? When we put it in, this will be y dash ninety three is equal to one upon h. So it will be fifteen. Now y zero, this y zero is left here. I mean del y zero. Okay? So that is five and minus two point three divided by two. Plus, this will be zero point two and del square, and this will be minus seven point three, right? And plus, this will be three into square of point two minus one by six. So, the average of both of them will be minus two point three plus six point four divided by four, right? Now we will calculate this. I have told how to use the calculator in the previous video, so please learn it from there. So the answer for this will be minus point zero three six. So here, what will it be? The value of its derivative will be obtained. So in this way, we can easily do it. Let's see another question now. Students, this is a very good question, and sometimes such story-based questions also come up. Like a rod is rotating in a plane. The following table gives the angle theta through which the rod has turned for the various values of time. It means that with respect to time, the angle is given. That at these angles, the rod is rotating. Calculate the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the rod at t is equal to zero point six. So what we need to do here, students, what we will do now is first we will need to find d theta by d t at t is equals to zero point six, and next we need to find d two theta by d t square at theta is equals to zero point six. We need to find angular velocity and angular acceleration. Here we need to find the second order derivative, and the first order derivative with respect to t at point six means we need to find the value at this point. First we'll write t and theta. Then we will make a table for these two for their difference. I think you all know how to make a table. Clear? Now what should we do here? I told you whenever we have this type of question, what will we do? Here whatever is the center, we will take it as y zero. This will be y minus one, y minus two, and this will be y minus three. So this will be y one at this place. It will be y two. Okay, this will be del y minus three, and this will be del y minus two here. This will be del y minus one, del y zero, and del y one, and this will be del square y minus three. Here this will be del square y minus two. Now this will be del square y minus one, and here this will be del square y zero, and here this will be del cube y minus three. At this place it will be del cube y minus two, and this will be del cube y minus one. The rest is zero, so nothing. What will we do when we get this type of question? So we will place it here. This is our center. So it will go like this. Clear? This is what you need to pay attention to, right? I will tell you the formula so that you don't have any difficulty in understanding it. Here we have y a plus h u is equal to this will be y zero plus u upon one factorial del. Here we will have y minus one plus del y zero upon two. This will come here. Plus u square upon two factorial. This will be del square y minus one plus here it will be u into u square minus one. Upon so here we have the value which will be three factorial and this will be del cube by minus one plus del cube by minus two upon two. Here in this way it will go on, right? First we will find out its first order derivative because we have it in terms of t and theta. So there is no need to worry about it. 
we will find its derivative with respect to u it will be a plus h u now h will come forward and it will be divided it will become zero it's with respect to u this will be del y minus 1 del y 0 upon 2 this is 2 u upon 2 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled so it will be d square y minus 1 and here it will be 3 u square minus u so actually u cube minus u this term will come here so its derivative will be its derivative will be 3 square minus its value which we will get here will be 1 upon 6 and it will be del cube y minus 1 plus del cube y minus 2 upon 2 here we will get this since h here got divided whatever derivative value is asked it is tabulated i mean it's based on the table in such cases u will become zero i told you in the first question too but i want to explain you some more so what will we get here the value we got of a plus h u it is 0 0.6 but we will take a as 0 0.6 and h we have is 0 0.2 if we will put this value here, so this will be 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2u is equal to 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 will be cancelled. So we have the value of u as 0. So as soon as the value of u becomes 0, then this term and this term, right? What will we have here? It will become 0. So what we do here is we take this formula. Wherever there is u, we put 0. So by dash, u is replaced by 0 and at a, we will put 0 0.6 here, right? So here we will have 1 upon h. Value of h is 0 0.2, right? So here we have this, it will be del y minus 1 plus, okay, here it will be del y 0 upon 2, so this is 0 and this is also 0, so minus 1 by 6. So it will be del q y minus 1 plus del q y minus 2 upon 2, this will be the value here. Now after putting the value of all these in it, the value we will get of del y minus 1 is 0 0.63, right, plus 0 0.90 upon 2 minus 1 by 6, so here the value that we are getting is 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01, right, divided by 2. So, if we simplify this, then the answer we get is 3.825. So, here we will get the velocity, which will be d theta by dt at t is equal to 0 0.6. So, this will be the value of angular velocity. Now, we are asked what will be the angular acceleration. So, what do we have to do? We have to take its derivative again. When I take the derivative again, what will we get from here by double dash a plus h u? We will do it with respect to u, then one more h will come forward. So this h here will be divided. And again, if we differentiate with respect to u, so this whole thing we have will be 0. And what we have here is del square by minus 1 plus here when we will differentiate. Then this 6u and this 1 will be 0. So this is 1, it will be 0, and this 6u upon 6, it will be u, right? And here this will be del q y minus 1 plus. It will be del q y minus 2 upon 2, right? Now we know it's same concept, right? Here, with double order derivative, we have to find the value of 0.6. We will keep u as 0. If you put u as 0, then this whole term, what will we get here? It will become 0, right? If we put u as 0, this entire term will be 0. Then only this term will be left. If we solve it from here, so the answer here will be, it will be 1 upon h square. Now the value of h is 0.2, so it will be 1 upon 0.2 square. It will be 0 and the value of del q y minus 1 will be 0.27. Sorry, del square y minus 1. So this will be 0 0.27. And then when we solve this, the answer we get will be 6.75. It will be its angular acceleration, right? And this one only will be d2 theta by dt square at. Here we will have the value of t as 0 0.6. This is how we can calculate the angular velocity and angular acceleration by using concept of Stirling formula. If similar question is asked in exam by the basal, by the Gauss forward or backward. You know those formulas. Differentiate it with respect to u. If you apply the same concept, then you will be able to do it easily. Okay. This question is for the comment box and how long it took you to solve it. Please let me know. In the comment and if you like this series, please comment about it. You can see the entire playlist of numerical analysis here. If you are preparing for CSIR net, gate or IIT jam exam, then our general aptitude series is very helpful. You can go there and check it out and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much students. Bye-bye.